Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to add a little bottle and put some light in the bottle and just really change this picture around. So, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this purple fringe. I mean, it, it's really not very noticeable at the end, but I'm going to get rid of it anyway. So, go here to layer, new life filter layer, colors, and the fringe. And right away, some of it disappears over here. So let's move this over a bit. And that took care of it pretty well. I'm going to just lower this one down here, the edge brightness. All right. All right. I think that's pretty good. It doesn't need to be amazing because, you know, well, you'll see why. <laughs> All right. Next, I need to add the bottle. So I found this picture on Pixabay. I'll leave the link in the description below. And I just need to get this bottle by itself. So I'm going to come over here and hit the selection tool and just make a quick selection. Well, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but we do want it to look like a bottle. So it needs to at least have the right shape and the details. Don't want it to be missing its back here. And if you go too far, just hold the Alt key and that will deselect. There we go. Okay, now just do Control J and that puts the bottle on its own layer. Control D gets rid of the selection. So you can just come over here and copy and then just paste it into the picture. All right, now I'm going to go to Arrange and Flip Horizontal and make it smaller. We're going to put it down here. Oh, it needs to be a lot smaller. Something like that. And put it kind of by her hand. Maybe like that. All right, now let's put a mask on it. Just click that little box right there and that gives you a mask. And you can push B on your keyboard to get the brush tool. You want just a soft brush with black paint. And we are just going to brush on the bottom here. And that will push this glass jar right down into the sand. Go as far as you want. All right. Now we're also going to make a reflection. So come over here and do Control J on that layer. And I am going to actually call this one Bottle Reflection. That way I keep track of them and we'll call this one Bottle. All right, so the reflection we want to the move tool, go to arrange and flip it vertically. And then I'm just going to hold the shift key and the little, the arrow on my keyboard, keyboard and the down arrow and just move it. And move it over a little too. Okay. Now this one already had a mask because we copied the layer, but we're going to select that mask and get our brush tool back and we're going to add some more to the mask. We're going to erase all of this so that it is in the water and only the water. <laughs> all right. All right. Now back on this top one, click on the mask and then come up here to the top and lower the opacity of the brush to about you know, somewhere between 25 and 30 is good. And I'm just going to brush over this top bottle. There we go. There, now it makes it a little more see-through like a bottle should be. And on the bottom one, you can do that too. There we go. But also, there we go, select the bottom bottle. And then come up here to filters and blur and then motion blur. And we want it to be straight across, pointing all the way right at zero. And just move it up a little. If you move it a lot, that's what it does. We don't want a whole bunch, just a little, because you can see the water is kind of going like this, sideways. So we want to try and match that a little bit. So not too much, but just a little. That's pretty good. Click Apply. And then lower the opacity a bit, just to blend it. There we go. All right. 
Now we've got our bottles. All right, now I want to change the lighting of the picture. So I'm going to come up here to Layer, New Life Filter, Layer, and Lighting. And make sure it's on top. I don't want it stuck on another layer. OK, and I'm going to get rid of the specular and change the type to point. And then shrink it, just grab that, pull it down, and bring it. I'm going to bring it down under her chin, the center of it. Because we want this to be lit up. So change the blend mode to multiply. I like multiply on this picture because of what it does to the reflection. I just like the way it looks. So now we, I'm going to add some light to the bottle. So come over here to the shapes and just get a circle. And just draw a circle that it would fit in the bottle. And come up here to fill. We need to change the color. I'm going to make it just a little bit yellow. And come to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And we don't want to go too much so it disappears, but we don't want it to just be a, a hard circle either. So just soften it a bit. Click Apply. And then I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. And then I'm going to actually make a copy of it. So Control J. And then this copy, I'm going to bring down into the reflection. And I'm going to lower the opacity of it a bit since it's in the reflection. OK. Now. I think that I want to brighten all of that back up. There's a real easy way to brighten these up. Let me show you. Get a rectangle. And just drag it across the whole picture. And it needs to be black, so make sure you change the color to black. And then come over here to Layer, Rasterize it. And change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. Get your Brush Tool. And get white paint and change the opacity again somewhere around 15 is usually pretty good we don't want it to be uh, too much all at once and then we are just going to make sure we have a big enough brush there we go wherever you brush it's going to brighten up so just run the brush over it and then if it's not bright enough run the brush over it again and again and I'm also going to do her face. Maybe a little bit here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to add a vignette to it because I want to kind of darken the edges. I want to focus the attention on her. So come to layer, new light filter layer, colors, and vignette it on its own layer so that if I want to change it later I can drag it out of there and put it on top okay and I'm going to bring the exposure down and I want it to be really soft so drag that over and I'm going to change the shape just a little there we go something like that and I can always come back and change it later since it's its own layer and I also want to add a curves layer just because I think it looks good on this picture so curves and then just pull the blacks down a little and the highlights up it emphasizes the light and makes the light in the bottle and on her face even brighter and then I also wanted to add a little bit of color to the picture so Go to color balance and leave it under midtones. And then I'm just going to pull this over to the purple. Mm, that was too much. Oh, not too much purple. Just a little. Just a little bit of color in the back there. That looked pretty good. And then originally, 
when I first was playing around with this picture, this is where I ended it. But then I had this idea. I wanted to add something to the background. So <laughs> that was my little nod to my love for all things Scottish. I decided to add Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. So I made this really fast. It took me five minutes. It's just a, I just hurried and drew out her shape or his, whichever it is. So I'll leave, um, I'll leave this on my website too. So if somebody wants to take it and make it better, improve it, <laughs> it definitely needs some work. But for what I'm using it for, it works just fine. And I made this in Affinity Designer, another great program. So just come over here and click copy and control V, paste it right into the picture. And oops, there we go. Just kind of put it somewhere in the back. And I'm going to drag it down a few layers. I want it to be under the adjustments that we made so it blends better. And then let's blur it a little. So go to filters, blur, and Gaussian blur. And that was way too much. So we don't want it to be hard, but we don't want it too soft. It needs to just be blurred like the background is. Click apply, and then I'm going to change it to multiply and lower the opacity. So it's just back there, hanging out. <laughs> so I hope you found something useful in this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. And thanks for watching.